I'm gonna kill you guys. Loser. <laughs> he doesn't even know that he's running over the glucose six phosphatase sign that we put there. I'm gonna kill you guys. Hey, welcome to our scene on Van Gierke disease. Represented by this van over here with gears on it. The van with gears on it. This guy's in this van with gears on it for Van Gierke disease. Now, Van Gierke disease is glycogen storage disease type 1. Represented by the gun over here on top of the van. Gun in our scenes is for 1. Glycogen storage disease type 1. What causes Van Gierke disease? It is due to a deficiency in the enzyme glucose 6-phosphatase. Thus do we see these evil guys over here, which we'll talk about in a second. They put this sign over here, and it randomly says glucose 6-phosphatase on it. And the van is about to crush it. That was from a deficiency. The deficiency of glucose 6-phosphatase. Glucose 6-phosphatase is the last enzyme of glycogenolysis. The breakdown of glycogen to glucose. So since the last enzyme is not going to be available, glucose 6-phosphate will not be converted to glucose, and glucose will not be able to be used by the body. This, of course, leads to increased glycogen in the liver and kidneys. Right, presented by these guys over here. These are the gliding gems, right? They're gliding, they sort of like fly, and they're gems. Gliding gems for glycogen. And they're in this car with the liver and kidney on it. We see, notice the liver over here, and the kidney over here for liver and kidney. And they represent the gliding gems in the liver and kidney. In Von Gierke disease, there's a very big increase in glycogen in the liver and kidneys. So much so that the abdomen actually bulges out. And of course, there's going to be a severe fasting hypoglycemia, represented by this gliding hippo. Gliding hippo, or hippogliding for hypoglycemia. This hippogliding is actually fasting. He's very hungry. He's fasting for fasting hypoglycemia. The body's not making use of the glucose which should be available, and that's why it's a fasting hypoglycemia. The chocolate here, specifically the rhesus chocolate, is just to help us remember that Van Gierke disease is autosomal recessive, as rhesus in our scenes is for autosomal recessive. Now let's come to that back to this sign over here that they're holding. They're making fun of this guy. They're saying, try licking your liver and kidneys. I'm not really sure why they chose this as their insult, but it's going to help us remember five findings in Van Gierke disease. Tri is going to be for increased triglycerides seen in Van Gierke disease. Since glucose 6-phosphate cannot be broken down to glucose, glucose 6-phosphate is shunted to other pathways and triglycerides are made. For similar re reasons, blood lactate increases. Licking is going to be for lactate. Your is going to be for uric acid, which leads to gout. Uric acid levels also increase as glucose 6-phosphate is shunted to the pentose phosphate pathway, and for other reasons as well. And liver is to help us remember that the hepatomegaly and the renomegaly as we mentioned. Even though these guys are evil, they have cute faces. I would say doll-like faces. But that is because in Van Gierke disease, there's a characteristic doll-like face due to the fat deposition. Let's talk about treatment for a minute. Here we have a syringe with candy on it. The candy is to help us remember glucose and the syringe to remind us of treatment. Treatment of Van Gierke disease includes frequent oral glucose cornstarch. Since the body cannot make glucose from glucose 6-phosphate, it's important to ingest the glucose. And the corn stalk over here doubles remember corn starch. It's important to remember that patients should avoid fructose and galactose since these molecules must be converted to glucose 6-phosphate before they are utilized. And since the body can't do anything with the glucose 6-phosphate in terms of glucose, it's important to avoid these. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on Van Gierke disease. Alrighty, take care.